For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz tip for you today. We're looking at, over the last several videos and today, looking at ways to play against Fritz where you're not going to get destroyed by playing against the Fritz software at full bore total strength. On any reasonable piece of hardware out there, Fritz will play at master or grandmaster level. People argue about how strong chess computers really are, but I think it's pretty well accepted at this point that they're playing well into the titled player range. And for those of us who are average players, that's not real productive. It'd be like if I had, you know, Grandmaster so and so living down the street and went down to his place one night a week to play some chess, I'd never win. I'm an average player. I'm a club level player. I'm not a master, I'm not a grandmaster. So it would be pointless. I can I can play against him, and if he beats me and he tells me what he did after the game, shows me what I did wrong, etc. And by the way, Fritz will do some of that, and we'll talk about that later. Uh, that might be productive. But the actual game itself, I have no chance to win. I know sitting down, then unless he's very sick and I'm very sharp that day, I'm not going to win a game. So what you want to do is play against people that are roughly your own strength. You go down to the chess club, there's always a couple guys that are about where you are, a little stronger, a little weaker, somewhere in the ballpark of where you're at, and those tend to be the guys that you play a bunch. Well, you can do that in Fritz, and that's what we've been looking at. I want to show you another training mode today that we haven't talked about yet. First, you'll click on the training menu up here at the top. Go to the training levels box over here, and here's the boxing glove with the word sparring under it. New sparring, and by the way, the, the mouse over says, new sparring game, tactical presence for you. Well, what does that mean? Well, let me tell you. This is a cool feature, and this was years in development before they, they, they put it in the software. I remember talking about this several years before it wound up in, in the software. I believe it made its debut in Fritz 5, as I recall. And I remember back in the old Fritz 2 days talking to the programmers, and we were discussing this feature that I thought sounded profoundly cool, and is. Let me talk first of all about the way chess computers play chess. They look out as far as they can, as many moves deep as they can. They try to find the best moves for them, and they will play those moves. So if they go down a path that isn't very good for them, why would that path, if they're looking down a particular road, a sequence of moves that isn't very good for the computer, why would that sequence of moves not be very good? Well, out there somewhere, there, there's a tactic that you can hit the computer with. You'd be able to drop a knight fork on them or possibly skewer the king to the queen with a bishop and then when the king has to move you cop off the queen with your bishop. A computer is not going to go anywhere near those kind of positions. One of the complaints that computer programmers heard for many years, chess computer programmers heard from players was, I study tactics. I keep getting told to study tactics, practice my tactics, but I can't do that with a computer because a computer won't, won't let me anywhere near a tactical position where I can drop a tactic like a knight fork or a pin or a skewer in on the computer. Well, guess what? What this does, what sparring mode in Fritz does, <coughs> excuse me, is the opposite of what chess computers normally do. If it's looking 10 moves deep and somewhere out in that search, it spots a knight fork for you, a sequence of moves that will lead to a knight fork where you could fork with your knight, its king or queen. Instead of steering away from that position, it'll steer toward that position and try to get to that point where that tactic is on the board. Then what this will do with this checkbox that says point out wins. If you have that checked, what the software will do is it will actually flash a light on the board to show you that the tactic is on the board. The time is now. Play that move or that sequence of moves to hit me with this tactic. So instead of steering away from tactics for the, for the human player, it steers toward them and will even alert you to the presence of the tactic if you have this checkbox checked, the point out wins box. Now there's difficulty and people always say, and I hate this question with a passion because it just shows that someone does not understand what these toggles are. What rating does each one of these apply to? It has nothing to do with rating. What difficulty means is how hard is the tactic. When that little light goes off on the chessboard and says, here's a tactic, if you have it set for very easy, 
what that means it's going to be a one mover the tack is right there there's a night fork there's a there's a, a pawn fork there's a skewer it's there now is the time to make the move it's on the board you're a move away from it make the proper move and whack me that's what Fritz will be telling you if very easy is checked. Really hard means that the tactic is going to be a multi-mover. It's going to be four or five move combination, possibly more, that are going to challenge grandmasters to find. Where there's going to be a sequence of moves that leads to that tactic. So what this really controls is, when does that little light come on on the board? When are you going to see that light? Is it going to be when it's one move away or when it's multiple moves away? And the harder you set this particular setting, the farther out that light will come on. So very easy. When that light comes on, you're a move away. Easy, it's maybe a two mover. You have to make a particular move to force Fritz to do something, and then your second move will be the tactical shot then normal, hard, and then really hard, as I said, those will even challenge grandmasters to find that multiple move tactic on the board. So if you're studying tactics, and many chess teachers will tell you study tactics, many chess books tell you study tactics. Teichmann said tactics, you know, 90 percent of chess is tactics. If you want to practice tactics, the stuff that you study in your chess problem books where you do a problem a day or two or three problems a day, and you want to practice that kind of stuff against your computer, this is the mode for you. You come up here and select sparring. Make sure point out wins is checked. That way the little light will come on on the screen and flash and tell you the tactic is there. And then difficulty sets whether it's going to be a one mover or a multi mover and everything in between. That's how you can practice tactics against your computer. And if you want more of a challenge, by the way, in playing against Fritz and using this mode, if you do not check point out wins, you won't get the little light flashing. So the program will not alert you to the presence of the tactic. It will alert you with a light with it checked. Uncheck it for a bigger challenge, <clears throat> excuse me, where you may not even see it unless you're very, very observant. And that's actually more like a real game anyway, because your opponent isn't going to go, oh my goodness, you're two moves away from a night fork. Okay, so that's more of a challenge, and it's a little more realistic. But if you want the light to come on, definitely check that box. It's your option. But this is a great way to practice tactics against Fritz, against the chess engine. For years, you couldn't ever play tactics against a chess computer. Now you can by using sparring mode in Fritz, Ribka, and the other chess-based produced playing programs. I encourage you to use this, particularly if you spend every day, part of your day, studying tactics. This is a great way to actually apply them in a game against a chess computer. For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.